a way of understanding the way the yoga teachings explain a human being, that a human being has multiple dimensions. In this culture, we're very familiar with the body and the mind. So nobody really will argue with you. Yeah, I have a body, I have a mind. And you know, in the last, even in the last 20 years of my life, awareness around mental health has really changed. So we have awareness of, you know, we have bones, organs, physiology. We're very aware of our physical health. Most of us can, you know, someone asks, what goes on in your mind? What would you say? I have these thoughts, beliefs, I have emotions. Um, uh, you know, that's that's the inner world uh, of the mind. But in in, uh, in in the yoga tradition, and actually not just yoga and other Eastern traditions as well, there is an acknowledgement of a another dimension of us, which is the dimension of prana. And I'll come back to breath in a moment. Uh, the word prana is not as well known in this culture, but the word chi is a little bit more well known just because Chinese medicine is a little bit more um, integrated. But the, the concept of prana is exactly the same as the concept of chi. And you know, these translations of this of this uh, uh, concept, you'll hear um, life force energy, vital energy, and energy is definitely a manifestation of it. So, you know, you've definitely experienced today, I have a lot of energy, today I, I'm depleted of energy. Anybody have days where you have high energy, days where you have low energy. That's a reflection of prana. But prana is also a much deeper concept than that. Uh, prana is actually, the way the yogis describe it, it's the flow of consciousness. It's actually the flow of nature's intelligence. The intelligence of nature that enlivens all things is flowing you know, through everything you see outside as much as it's flowing through you. And that's the, this concept of consciousness that's the, you know, that's one of the words used in the translation of the concept of um, uh, all pervading omniscience or the concept, uh, we could use the word God. That word, that word does not work for everybody, just depending on your own background with it and your own, um, and it doesn't need to work for, uh, for you. But what I'm trying to give you words and ideas that help it resonate. But that is the concept. And in, in, uh, in the traditional yoga teachings are written in the Sanskrit language, and it's called Ishvara in the uh, yoga scriptures. The concept of an all-pervading omniscience intelligence, we could call it universal consciousness, that is operating in our lives and throughout all of nature. And that this all-pervading consciousness is... Um, you know, even without any type of spiritual practice, it's what we experience through our intuition. Uh, it's what we experience through our conscience. These are two words that are more familiar, in, you know, to an American language. So prana is actually the flow of consciousness moving through you. And that is how yoga works with different practices to help you develop what's called pranic sensitivity, that there's actually a feeling an experience of um, being more conscious, being more aware, being more connected to this flow of consciousness that's always there. It's what is enlivening you. Uh, it's just that you're not trained to put your attention on it. And you don't have the training to have the sensitivity to it. So that that's a, you know, that's a cliff note version of how do you start to have an actual spiritual experience, which, which again, if I, you know, I'm, I'm only at this, at my own level of practice with this, I, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not an enlightened person by any means, anything like that, but there is a, a richness of feeling, a support, a nourishment I have received from my practice that keeps deepening and the way it's been taught to me and it, you know, I'm digesting these ideas just as much as you are and just trying to sort out for myself, you know, what is this? But that, that is my experience of it, that we, we can have uh, this um, inner nourishment, inner safety, inner security, uh, inner, inner strength that really um, combats uh, fear and, and can move us more towards courage and wisdom. 